my midterm project, I decided to cover the topic of artificial intelligence in basketball training. This topic means a lot to me because I play basketball for Oklahoma State University, and I've always been interested in the ways that modern technology can affect the game and how players and teams interact with it. So first, uh, the general uses of AI in sports include player scouting and development, player projection, injury prediction, player performance prediction, game strategy optimization, enhanced decision making, fans engagement analysis, and ticket pricing. The topics that we're going to cover in sports and specifically in basketball today are the uh, ways that player scouting and development are used in our, with artificial intelligence, um, how player performance prediction is um, able, to, able to be utilized and how game strategy optimization it goes into effect. Uh, so first, um, a company that kind of started artificial intelligence in basketball would be No Basketball and No Analytics. Um, some background on No Basketball is that it was started by actually a father and his daughter um, while she was training in the in their driveway of their neighborhood. Uh, every time she made a shot, the there was a computer that was sitting to the, next to the goal, and it had a camera and a sensor um, that would analyze her shot and the trajectory of her shot, the way it went in, how deep it was, and kind of talk about that stuff a little more um, within this slide. But uh, every time she made a shot, it would say, yes, it would, the computer would talk to her, and then it would tell her basically how she can improve her shot in order to make it more often. Um, so some, some, some facts about no basketball is that System consists of cameras attached 10 feet above the backboard and tracks the ball's arc, depth, and left-right position as it approaches the rim. The system knows the location of each shot taken and if the shot was made or missed. The system collects data on every shot, adding to a database of more than 236 million shots already recorded during practice sessions around the country. So once this company got bigger, obviously, they went into NBA arenas, um, colleges, high schools, um, individual uh, players that wanted to improve their game on their own time and all of their shots combine and go on to this large database of points that can um, allow the machine and the system to understand what shots are more advant advantageous to a player or a shooter. Uh, the system captures the position of the ball 30 times per second. It analyzes the trajectory and the ball position within the rim, allowing players to pinpoint how to increase their shooting percentages. Noah's instant audible feedback allows players to correct their shot in real time, building the muscle memory needed for a perfect shot. Noah can also track in-game play for unique automated shot charts and rim maps, helping teams analyze shot performance in real time. So not only can it improve the fundamentals of your own specific shot, it also shows you which shots are more effective within the gameplay according to your own personal play style. So one player may have more specific shots that are better for them. And another player ha may have shots that are better for them within gameplay. And that's analyzed as you use cameras and, and sensors within an actual game rather than just in your driveway or at practice. Um, the system can also identify the partic particular type of shot taken, like we were talking about, um, and moves that have varying degrees of difficulty that affect the likelihood that a ball goes in. So a fadeaway jumper or off balance can probably won't go in as much as a two foot standing still three point shot. Um, and the program can analyze that. Obviously it's many people would agree with the, the fact that on balance shots are better than off balance shots, but the program will specifically tell you which specific shots are better compared to others. Um, and here's a shot chart from Noah basketball as a player um, at practice. Uh, it shows the percentage of shots that were made, the degree of the arc, the depth within the goal when it was made. And so a player can instantly improve on um, their shot making. Stats LLC is a uh, different type of type of system. Uh, it installed the first sports view camera systems in the NBA arenas. It has electronic motion technology that uses cameras and usually hung from rafters to gather data quickly at 25 times per second. It utilizes six cameras strategically placed in the arena to track the position of basketball and each player present on the court. With so much data, the challenge is to extract useful knowledge and help players and coaches to gain every competitive edge possible. One major goal in particular 
was to have identified specific actions like passes and common plays, such as the pick and roll. So all of these data goes into the database and it from uh, a select testing group, it analyzes what kind of plays um, interact with certain type of motions on the court. So from those motions on the court, it can go back and tell the coach or a team what play was just ran. And then once you have this data from the court, you can have uh, basically a list of all of these certain plays that were made of this same type. And you can basically have that in your own directory of uh, plays that coincide with one another. Um, machine learning and AI were perfect for the task because they're about pattern recognition at their hearts. The more training data there is, the better the algorithm becomes at recognizing patterns and data it's never seen before. So once new plays are added, the machine learning and AI will be able to track these new plays and then learn from that and then track plays similar to that play and then be able to go from there on which plays are which. Um, resulting software can then go through all the tracking data, identify and label every player in play and create a database of searchable annotated animated diagrams. Um, the impact of machine learning is automation freeing up coaches to spend more time strategizing and working with players. Obviously the sports view camera systems are not gonna take away the, the roles of coaches on teams and because players and teams are too specific um, emotionally and um, without data. So it's hard to pin down what exactly a team needs to be successful. But with Stats LLC, it makes it a lot easier for the coach to analyze data rather than have to deal with the aspects of data within their practices and, how to, and while managing a team. So here's um, some of the sports view cameras within NBA arenas. Uh, we actually played at the Brooklyn Nets arena seeing seen here this year we played Virginia Tech um, over Christmas break so that was really fun and here are the uh, the cameras about right above the rim at the Lakers arena I think it's called crypto.com nowadays it used to be the Staples Center um, here are some of the cameras near us in Oklahoma City at the Thunders arena uh, and then here are the cameras at the Phoenix Suns arena so these are basically different angles that um, stats uses in order to collect the data for each play that an NBA team is running. And then it turns that into a database for each of these NBA teams to later analyze in order to scout their teams and in order for their own team to get better. Um, Boastgusters is pretty cool. So Boastgusters is a deep learning algorithm of has a deep learning algorithm that takes five individual players on a team and represents them as one entity kind of just shifting around as one block of players rather than each individual player on the court. Um, it allows a coach to sketch a play on the computer and an AI program trained with player movement from the NBA converts these sketches into simulation and how both teams would move and position themselves during the play. Because no team is the same, the software also accounts for each team's differences in style and personnel. So basically from a database like stats, I think stats actually, um, is the database that Boastgusters uses for all of its plays that are ran. Uh, Boastgusters will have a coach can draw out an offensive play and a defense will appear on it called ghosts because they're not, it's not a real defensive scheme that is being played against them. It just appears on screen in order for a coach to see how a defense would react to their offensive set. So once this offensive play happens, a ghost defense appears on the screen, shows the coach how a defense would react to it given a specific team. It can be a zone. It can be a man. The coach can specify in settings what type of defense they want to react to their own offensive play, which is pretty cool because then you can have the Dallas Mavericks or the Oklahoma City Thunder defense playing against one play. So you have a bunch of different outputs for one for just one play. It's not just a, not just a single answer for each offensive play. Uh, the system is composed of three distinct modules. First, the user interface manages sketching input and animation output. Um, the hypothetical ball and offensive player tracking data is generated from the sketch and input to a data-driven ghosting model, which predicts how a specific team will defend. Um, a complete set of hallucinated tracking data is run through an expected points model to quantify the effectiveness of the sketch play. So for every algorithm, you wanna know the effectiveness of how well it worked. And if a team scores, then that defense is not doing what they should be doing or that offensive play worked a lot better or 
work to the effectiveness that you expected. So if you score on offense and you were the one that drew the play up on offense, then that's a win. And then the AI recognizes that and will continue to run that defense in order for you to be able to score with offense. If you don't score on offense, then that means it wasn't a win, obviously. And that specific set won't succeed probably against a um, against the defensive set that was made by the AI. So um, saying all that, here's a demonstration of the Bose Custer technology kind of to put a visualization onto it. Um, I'll kind of walk through as uh, we watch it change the playback speed. So basically this coach, it's not really a coach, but someone is drawing up a play um, that will be ran on the court. So the one has the ball. Um, sorry. And all these players are moving according to what the user set for their movements to be. Um, the ghosting response, see, this is where the AI comes into play. It's based off of certain teams in the NBA, how they will defend a certain offensive play that the coach makes. This is the system editing tracking data. So again, this is a ghost response to an actual play set. And if the offense scores, then it's a success. Now you can change up the, the play that was ran in order to have a counter or a play that goes against what the defense may stop, how a defense may stop the play. And then this is ran. And then another ghost response is included. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, it's pretty cool. Then it asks you which ones you think are ghosts. They eventually all end up being ghosts because of course they are, because that's the that's the best way to learn if they're all ghosts. Um, what the, the cool part about uh, Bose Gusters is that actually it includes um, characteristics like fatigue that uh, teams would experience in reality. It also includes what type of defense is being ran, whether that be a man, a zone, or a hybrid defense. So it has all these uh, characteristics that can be included when, when running an offensive set. So you can get a realistic look on how your offense would fare against any defensive team in the NBA or extended to college, any defensive team in college. But this algorithm and technology is primarily used in the NBA. Um, in conclusion, this is not telling the coach what to do. This is assisting the coach in his day-to-day -day job. Patrick Lucy, Vice President of Artificial Intelligence at Stats. So this is kind of like what I said earlier. Um, this isn't replacing coaches. It can't physically do that yet because players have emotions, players have fatigue, players sometimes don't understand plays perfectly. So this is just assisting coaches. And if a play was perfectly ran, this is how it would look from a defensive side, from an offensive side. Um, the element of coaching that doesn't get played up as much as it shows the ability of coaches to work with players to motivate them to get them to play together. Uh, Dean Oliver, Vice President of Data Science at True Media. Um, like I said, coaches have a lot more responsibilities than just the statistical side. So if you can handle the statistical side via AI, it makes the whole process a lot smoother. Uh, and in conclusion, it's the randomness that makes sports thrilling, the unexpected plays that no algorithm could ever predict. So AI is extremely cool in this area, and it'll keep growing in the future, but it's not replacing coaches anytime soon. And here are my sources. Thank you very much, and go folks.